welcome to The Social Connection. It's your program about social media, the trends you talked about and what new changes social media companies offer its users. I'm Preeti Tiwari and with me is Shreya Padhyay. Thanks Preeti. Yes, we are back with another episode of The Social Connection where we get you the latest from social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. First, let's take a look what we have in store for you in this edition. Mark Zuckerberg bats for net neutrality. Twitter increases user follow limit from 2,000 to 5,000 accounts. YouTube unveils ad-free subscription service. Well, let's start with our top story. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg reiterated his support for net neutrality at a luncheon attended by government officials, lawmakers and industry heads. During a town hall in New Delhi, Zuckerberg also said that connecting India is a key to Facebook's ambition of connecting the world. More in this report. A round of applause for the man who has redefined global connectivity. On Wednesday, when Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg arrived at IIT Delhi for a town hall with students, the first question that was addressed to him was, why is he showing so much interest in India? He responded with an ease I, that has now become characteristic of him. Give everyone in the world the power to share what's important to them and to connect every person in the world. And India is the world's largest democracy. It's you know, one of the, the biggest countries where if you really have a mission of connecting every person in the world, you can't do that without helping to connect everyone in India. Zuckerberg said that while India has many users on Facebook and WhatsApp, it also has many people without internet access. He pointed out that internet can provide education, health information and access to job listings. Underlining the tremendous potential for internet access in India, he cited research that for every 10 people who get access to the internet, one new job is created and one person is lifted out of poverty. It's really a tool that provides uh, some vital infrastructure for your life, right? I mean, it can provide educational information for people who don't have access to good schools. Uh, it can provide health information on how to you know, take care of your child or avoid diseases for people who don't have access to good doctors or, or health infrastructure. Uh, it can provide access to job listings uh, for people who live in, in poorer villages where the economy isn't very strong. He expressed his support for net neutrality but said that a distinction needs to be drawn between filtering and allowing free internet access for basic services. His visit to India comes weeks after he met Prime Minister Narendra Modi during a town hall at Facebook headquarters in California. During that town hall, PM had outlined Centre's vision and efforts to digitally connect India through the Digital India Initiative. Facebook CEO's visit to India is significant because he has extended support to Digital India under which the government is working to provide services to Internet users electronically. This support can prove to be instrumental in helping the government change the face of India. Next up, microblogging site Twitter is now allowing users to follow more people. The company has increased its follow limit from 2,000 to 5,000. The company shared the news via its support page and said that every user can follow 5,000 people in total. Here's more. Twitter has increased its follow limit from 2,000 to 5,000. The company shared the news via company's support page and stated that every user can follow 5,000 people total. What Twitter has announced is rapid following of other users. Once a user has followed 5,000 users, there are limits to the number of additional users one can follow and this limit is different for every user and is based on the ratio of followers to following. According to Twitter, the company will not limit the number of followers you can have. However, it will monitor how aggressively users follow other users. The company wants to make sure that none of the limits restrain reasonable usage and will not affect most Twitter users. The company also made it clear that it does not permit any automator or bulk following or unfollowing behavior. In addition, Twitter said that limits improve site performance by ensuring that when we send a person's message to all of their followers, the sending of that message is meaningful. Follow limits cannot be lifted by Twitter and everyone is subject to them, including verified and developer accounts. Detailing how it identifies spam practices, Twitter added, we monitor all accounts for aggressive following and follow churn. You can read more about these below, but if you don't follow or unfollow hundreds of users in a single day and you are not using automated methods of following users, you should be fine. This is one of the many changes Twitter has made to the social network in recent times. This month, Twitter announced to roll out a new service that will allow users to create polls. 
With this move, Twitter is believed to be working at improving user engagement. The poll lets users ask a question with two choices as answers and it will remain open for 24 hours. Well, YouTube finally unveiled its long-discussed paid subscription service, dubbed as YouTube Red. The new service will offer ad-free versions of all current YouTube videos, as well as access to music streaming and additional exclusive content from some of the site's top creators. Here's more in this report. Alphabet's YouTube launched a 10 US dollars a month subscription option in the United States on October 28th. It lets viewers watch videos from across the site without interruption from advertisements. Starting early next year, the service called YouTube Dread will add exclusive shows and movies from top YouTube creators, including PewDiePie, Lily Singh, and the Fine Brothers. At an event at YouTube's production space in Los Angeles, YouTube's chief business officer, Robert Case, said that consumers are embracing paid subscriptions of ad-free content at an incredible pace. What's also happening is that consumers are embracing paid subscriptions for ad-free content at an incredible pace. And amid all of this change, YouTube continues to thrive at an incredible pace. Our watch time continues to grow at its fastest possible rate in the last few years, 60% year on year, which is amazing. Everything's gonna be okay because life is great. I'm gonna take you all. The effort offers a new source of revenue for YouTube and its video creators. Rival streaming sites such as Wessel and Interactive Corp's Vimeo are luring online stars to their paid offerings, which provide creators a larger cut of revenue than they typically receive from YouTube's ad-supported videos. Facebook is also taking steps to boost video viewership on its site. YouTube will continue to offer its free ad-supported service, which has more than 1 billion viewers around the world. Well, we are heading for a short commercial break. We'll be back in a while. Stay tuned and keep watching DD News. Now the National News Channel of India, live on your mobile phone. Get the news on the go. Watch top videos, get the latest news and continuous news on your mobile phone. Download DD News app now. Visit the Android Play Store, search for DD News, download the app to your phone. Get the power of information at your fingertips. DD News. Only news, complete news. Breaking news ki race se hat kar. Khabre kuch achhi bhi hain. Khabre jo padhayengi hausla aur vishwas. Ummeed bhari khabre jo laengi muskan. Good news India. Welcome back. You must be familiar with the top trending topics of the week, but here's a quick wrap of the trends that rule social media platforms. National Unity Day on the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel was one of the top trending topics of the week. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tribute to Sardar Patel on 140th anniversary of his birth in New Delhi. He also flagged off Run for Unity on the occasion. Sardar Patel was India's first Home Minister and Deputy Prime Minister, also known as Iron Man of India. In his Facebook post, PM Modi wrote, saluting the Iron Man and the architect of modern India, Sardar Patel. Prime Minister announced government's plan to launch a scheme, Ek Bharat, Shresht Bharat, on the occasion. Cricketer Harbhajan Singh and actress Geeta Basra held wedding ceremony in Jalandhar, Punjab. The couple married at a Gurudwara near Jalandhar late Thursday. Harbhajan married his longtime partner, Bollywood actress Basra, at his hometown. I'm looking forward for this relationship. I'm very happy, very excited, and I'm sure my wife is also very excited about it, said Harbhajan Singh. 
The wedding was graced by legendary Indian cricketer Sachin Tendulkar and the Ambani's and many other guests. The third edition of India Africa Forum Summit was held in the national capital. The summit was one of the top trending topics on Facebook and other social media sites. Prime Minister Narendra Modi offered $10 billion in credit to African Union at the event concluded in New Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also announced $600 million grant assistance to African leaders. PM Modi said, India is now a major source of business investments in Africa. Sinai was one of the most searched topics on weekends. It is the area where a Russian passenger jet carrying more than 200 people crashed in the peninsula after losing contact with aviation authorities on Saturday morning. Egyptian Prime Minister confirmed the crash of the plane. The Russian-bound flight crashed in Siani Peninsula, which was carrying up to 224 people. The plane was carrying 217 passengers and seven crew members. The Egyptian air traffic control had lost control with the aircraft shortly after it took off from the Red Sea resort of Sharm el Sheikh from St. Petersburg. Windows 10 was in news again. Microsoft said that it is all set to offer upgrade to all Windows PCs next year. A user will be presented with the choice to install Windows 10. Microsoft's head of Windows and Devices, Terry Myers, said in an interview. So by next year, Microsoft will make many users with Windows 7 or 8 update to Windows 10 automatically. If you don't want it, change your Windows update settings now. Microsoft is making some changes for users running non-genuine versions of Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. These users will get a one-click way to turn their Windows version into a legitimate, genuine version which will then clear the way for upgrading to Windows 10. Moving on, Saudi blogger Ref Badwi, who was sentenced to 1,000 lashes and 10 years in prison for insulting Islam, was awarded the European Parliament's prestigious Human Rights Prize. Ref was arrested in 2012 and is an outspoken advocate of free speech whose public flogging in January triggered international outrage when he was subject to a first round of 50 lashes. Take a look. Saudi blogger Raf Badwi, who has been sentenced to 1,000 lashes and 10 years in jail for insulting Islam, was awarded the European Union's Prize for Human Rights and Freedom of Thought. European Parliament President Martin Schulz made the announcement during a plenary session of the Parliament in Strasbourg. Schulz also called on Saudi Arabian King Salman to uphold the sentence and to release the 31-year-old blogger. Blogger Raif Badawi. The prize is the latest honour bestowed on Badwi, who received the first of his 50 lashes in January, prompting strong criticism in Western countries of the kingdom's human rights record, including its restrictive laws on political and religious expression and the status of Saudi women. Earlier this month in London, Badwi was given the International Writer of Courage and Pen Pinter Prize co-recipient for 2015, named after playwright Harold Pinter. A Jeddah court handed Badwi his sentence after he criticized the Saudi clergy in a blog and called for changes in the way religion is practiced in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, which follows the strict Wahhabi form of Islam, does not permit the public worship of other faiths or allow them to maintain places of worship inside the country. In a new law last year, it included atheism as a terrorist offense. Named in honor of Soviet scientist and dissident Andrei Sakharov, the prize has been awarded by the European Parliament annually since 1988. The first recipients were Nelson Mandela and Russian author and dissident Anatoly Marchenko. Project Google will launch 20,000 Project Loon helium balloons, which will fly 20 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Take a look. Google will begin testing balloon powered internet over Indonesia in 2016, aiming to provide coverage across more than 17,000 islands in Indonesia. 
In comparison with many countries in Africa and other parts of Asia, Indonesia is somewhat ahead in internet connectivity, but it still ranks lowest across Southeast Asia. According to the company, only about one in three of the country's 250 million residents has internet access, and setting up and maintaining mobile towers across the archipelago has proven to be challenging. The solution, according to Google, is Project Loon, set up in 2013 as a series of balloons that float in the stratosphere about 20 kilometers above Earth's surface. The project works by ground stations connecting to the local internet infrastructure and beaming signals to the balloons, which are self-powered by solar panels. The balloons, which once in the stratosphere will be twice as high as commercial airliners, are barely visible to the naked eye. They are then able to communicate with each other, forming a mesh network in the sky. Users below have internet antennae they attach to the side of their house, which can send and receive data signals from the balloons passing overhead. Google started its ambitious project Loon two years back with a target to transmit high-speed internet through a bunch of balloons hovering 18,000 meters above the Earth's surface. Indonesia will be the fourth destination for testing the project. Google conducted previous trials in Brazil, Australia and New Zealand. Well, we're heading for a short commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Lots more interesting updates on the other side. हर दिन बदलती खबरें हर पल बनती नई सुर्खियां खबरों की रफ्तार के साथ हर दोपहर दुनिया की ताजा तस्वीर दोपहर समाचार रोजाना दो बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर सुर्खियों की भीड़ में अहम खबरें असल मुद्दे जो डालते हैं आपकी जिंदगी पर असर दिन भर की हर बड़ी खबर का बेपाक विश्लेषण सच सटीक संपूर्ण न्यूज नाइट सोमवार से शुक्रवार रात 8 से 10 बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर Welcome back. You're watching The Social Connection. A new chapter in the history of celebrity dumb has begun as popular YouTube vlogger Jenna Marbles gets an honor usually reserved for more traditional media stars, a life-sized wax rendering by Madame Tussauds. Jenna Marbles is a YouTube personality and vlogger with over 15 million subscribers on her YouTube channel and over 1.8 billion video views. Take a look. In the Madame Tussauds Museum dotted around the world, there are wax figures of Hollywood stars, musicians, global politicians and kings and queens. Now add to that list a YouTube personality. Madame Tussauds in New York added its first YouTube personality to their collection of wax figures. Jenna Marbles, Nijana Mori is a YouTube personality and vlogger with over 15 million subscribers on her YouTube channel and over 1.8 billion video views. According to Madame Tussauds, Marbles hosts one of the top 10 YouTube channels and owns a top channel operated by a woman. Who, like, who thinks that this is going to happen to them in their life? Never. Certainly not by like doing that in my room. Madame Tussauds New York made the announcement about their first YouTube personality during the summer, just as the museum's San Francisco branch unveiled its first set of YouTube personality wax figures of Smosh members Anthony Padilla and Ian Hecox. More than 250 detailed measurements were taken of the online star to create the wax replica. It was really cool to see how they make them. Um, it was not like the, my favorite thing in the world to have someone like measure your armpit and stuff. I'm like, oh, shouldn't eat all that pizza. Sorry, guys. Um, but it was incredible to see how they match your eyes and your teeth and your hair, your gums. And my favorite part was probably the hand molds because you're like, it's all gooey, it's all really good. 
Uh, my least favorite part was the mouth molds because I just had to sit there and, you know, stare into space for a while. <laughs> I couldn't say anything. <laughs> Marble's wax figure is not only the first YouTube personality at the New York Museum, but it is also the first wax figure that is capable of taking a selfie with guests. We're here at Madame Tussauds, New York, and we are unveiling our first ever YouTube star, Jenna Marbles. The wax figure holds a working phone in an outstretched arm. Guests can pose next to the figure, take a photograph, and upload it to their phones via a touchscreen tablet near the wax figure. Moving on, it's time to see all the feedback that you sent in on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Well, this is the end of our show. Continue sending in your feedback as you always have on ddnews.com at the rate gmail.com on our Twitter handle, YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Well, yes, we hope that you enjoyed the show as much as we did in presenting it to you. But before we sign off, we leave with an interesting video. Keep watching. Thank you. Bye. Cara futura mamma, don't be afraid. Tu niño podrá hacer muchas cosas. Podrá marchar. Podrá correr hacia ti. Il pourra parler et te dire qu'il t'aime. Il pourra aller à l'école comme todos. Il ne sera bien. Et pourra t'écrire si un jour elle est loin. Because indeed, he'll be able to travel too. Il pourra aider son père à réparer son vélo. Podra laborar et gagner son dinero. Avec son salaire, il pourra t'inviter à dîner. Oh, fréquenter un appartement, on a la vivre de solo. A volte sarà difficile. Io che tesco. Quasi è possibile. E spa pareil per tutte le mere. Dear future mom. Tuo figlio potrà essere felice. Come da sonaio. E tu sarai heureuse aussi.